the place where real dialogue matters. It is time to take flight with Audio Airstrike. <sighs> All right. Let's watch this. All right. I love her. I hope that it's going to be okay. It's going to work itself out. But I do know that I need to talk to him. I need to see him. I need to get some things off my chest. Hola. Hola. Como estas? I can only answer in French. Come see, come sauce. Really? <laughs> she asked, She acted mad different, though. <laughs> Hurry up and sit down. Hurry up. <laughs> Ooh. Come on. Warm, right? Trying to act like that ain't anything wrong. Hurry up. Paradise, but not mentally there. Why? It's a lot going through my mind. Like, I'm sure. I feel like I you know it's never good when they say state. it's a lot going through my mind. Mm-hmm. Okay. I personally feel that you left out who you really are. Pause. I don't. How? He kept it real. How did he leave out who he truly was? Here's the issue, right? How? He said, I'll, I'll hand him this, because a lot of people have been taking sides with this on social media. I'll hand him this. Mm-hmm. He said it to her face. Mm-hmm. At a previous time in my life, I was out there with both genders. Oh, yeah. He said it out loud and to her face. She ain't get it through a text message. She ain't get it through a friend. Yeah. He was very direct. Yeah. And that's not something you tell somebody. Okay. There is a way to do things. It's called tact. Okay, you know right. what I'm saying like you know, it's not like he waited till after they got married or the or the night be or the wedding. You right. know what I'm saying like you know, it's like ah, Lord have mercy. Like I get how you feel. I get that you probably feel betrayed. I, I feel don't get that part, but okay. The experiment in a way. What experiment? I feel that. I feel experiment. that you weren't honest with me from the get go. I he feel was like honest. that should have been I feel established. Like I was honest. I wanted you to get to know me for me. Yeah. That's always that been the you, strategy that has never, it's never been an issue with girls. It's like, it's never. Then I why been, did you tell me in the beginning? Because in the beginning, you will Pause that. judge me. Yeah. So here's, here's the thing. Women think like this. If you don't tell me right then and there, I feel betrayed. Stop it. Okay. Like, but that's how some women think. No, no, no. Listen, no. I know, go I, back. I know, I know, I know. I know what I'm saying, like, you know, and I'm not saying stop it because of you. I'm saying for the people that think like that, that's not fair. I mean, like, because there are certain things about my life that, that yeah, I'm not going to tell you on the first date. There are certain things. Now, did she have a right to know? Yes, she did. But don't tell me when to live my truth. Don't tell me that that's something that I should have told you on the first day. I'm still getting to know you, okay? Certain things about me, you don't need to know right now. Okay, but as soon as I felt comfortable, just as he said, you you was going to prejudge me. Do you, do you really think that... So do you think he called it? Huh? So it's, do you think he... It's, it's, it's kind of like a premonition. It's kind of like a almost like foresight to see... I mean, this happened. No, I wouldn't even call it foresight. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, you don't know. Like, you you don't know. And, and just, like, there are certain things about your life you're not going to tell a person on the first date. Because you don't even know if there's going to be a second date. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and at the end of the day, I don't know you yet. Man, hold on. Let's, well, let's check us out to see. Never been an issue with girls, would you though? have really, if I would have told you on the first date, would you have really given me a chance? You wouldn't have. See? I, See, had he told her on the first day, even he, even he truly felt that. Now, once a girl, now, it's certain things it's just not comfortable to talk about. Like, not on the first date. Let me, like, you know, get, get, let me get to know you first. And then I'll tell you certain things about my life that I've kept Right, because there's some things, there, oh, are some, there's, uh, there are times I've been on dates and women have said some stuff right up front that's been like, what? Like they didn't wait. Like this should have been a conversation, like second, third date type stuff. Yeah, you telling me first off a rip. You know what I'm saying, like I, if you tell somebody something deep, so off rip, depending on what it is first. Yeah, it could push it. Sometimes timing and stuff like that, it could push the person away. And who knows, she might have acted that way. I mean, you know, and I can understand that. You know what I'm saying, like you know, but see, uh, uh, all right. So you got some people that. They don't want to waste their time. So they would rather you just 
rip the band-aid off and just hey this is who i am this is me some people they're honest and they'll tell you that right up front but this is not a one size fits all kind of thing no, okay this as definitely I, isn't as i said there is a thing called tact hold on i'd rather you have told me up in front i would be able to make a better decision or be able to say okay you know i understand where you're coming from but you know for sure you want to be with a female well, this well, is how i personally felt and how i slept on it why Last would night, he be she there? rubbing my back. She's like, give me a hug. Let me talk now, to you. Now, I ain't gonna lie. He looked gay a little bit. But today, it, but it's still. like, all of a sudden, you have an issue with it? Nah. Do you really think that I would be here if I didn't have real feelings? Like, just, like, what? For a trip? It's like, I don't know. Whatever. Show your true colors. I've shown mine. Sh no, you haven't shown your true colors. Not from the beginning. But I did last night. Yeah, but you waited okay. all the way to literally four weeks away from our wedding to show your true colors. Okay, cool. So oh, you that's call fine. It off? That's I mean, fine. For I'm you saying to do that? it's whatever you want at this point because you are giving like, me a response understand. different from any response that I've ever gotten. And you're I'm not so gonna, defensive with it. Though. Because I'm not going to subject myself to that. I have to be defensive. I'm just Nobody has fought for me feel except about me. It. Nobody fought for me either. Okay. But at the same time, I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you about it. I don't have to sit here and talk to you about this. If you don't want to, you don't have but to. I okay, want you to. know what? I will say he is getting a little defensive. No, oh, saying, absolutely. Like, yeah, he's he he is getting very defensive. And I think he's really taking this the wrong way. Because I think, and here's, and I honestly truly think that this is what he was expecting. He was expecting her to be like, I don't care. I love you anyway. And it but doesn't matter. Let's just move forward. That is what he was hoping for. Right. She asking questions and she feeling it like she asking questions. Which made him feel interrogated. Yes. Yes. It made him feel like he was being interrogated. It made him feel like, oh, this is her trying to find an excuse to have a way out. Here's a problem with this. What? He is assuming off rip. Yeah. Based off. The fact that he's feeling this way, I guess he's dealing with the burden of his identity sexually yeah. still. Seems like he hasn't really had a chance to really figure that out and be comfortable with it in his own skin. However, with this, mm -hmm. I think it's one of those situations where because the thought of she's asking a lot of questions and I wanted this, like how you can't assume how people are going to react when you tell them. Yeah. Oh, I had this sort of lifestyle before I met you. Yeah. You can't assume. Yeah, and he's and she did not give him the re reaction that he wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and that's why he's getting talk, all talk a little more in the mic. Uh, uh, she, you know, yeah, yeah, she hold on, hold on. Okay, let, me, let me scoot up with these mics and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. She she did not give him the reaction that he wanted. So, you know, I mean, I can I think right now he's just too in his feelings a little bit, and all, and he's comparing her to other girls and all that. Like, bro, she's not them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people process things differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and to say, well, this reaction is different. That's not fair. Like, off rip. Like, that's not fair. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and it is a lot to take in. So I mean, like, you know, now I'm now, hey, hey, hey. I'm not saying that it should, but for some people, some people. It's, that's hard That's hard to deal with when your significant other tells you that they've been with other genders. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, you know, I mean, like, but, 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 I mean, like, you know, me, I'm a personal believer, love who you choose to love, that is your business, your life, your happiness, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but on the flip side but you to, can't assume everybody is going to respond well exactly right know what i'm saying like you know to because the choice that you make when he told her she looked shocked know what i'm saying right. like you know why because she asked the dumb question like as soon as he told her i've dated both genders and she in shock acts like what male male and female like Yes, both genders, man. Yes, that's what that means. Yeah, yes, both genders. But 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 I don't blame her for for asking that because when she when he told him she was in shock. Let's play. But it. I want to because I wouldn't be here if I wouldn't. Okay, so don't try to switch. Play the victim here. Okay, it's insulting it's, me at this point. It's insulting you. Yeah, oh, so this is. whole process is not yeah. insulting to me. Well, I'm not here to disrespect you. You want some other shit I'm right on, now. I'm on some real with. stuff, and this is part of real life. I'm here to 
have communication, open communication with you, and just communicate what is the problem and how to address it, not make matters worse. I'm okay, okay, but so with you don't care without. no feelings about I'm how okay you took me through this. I'm okay with or without this situation. I am okay. Well, oh, you know what? Like, I ain't got time okay. for this because you having a bad attitude. He told me that. No, this don't do something for you. Have your moment. You have your moment. Like, seriously, you're taking off your ring because I'm being honest with you. You'd rather a man lie to you. Nah, nah, bruh. She's taking off her ring because right now you're just being a jerk. Like, I mean, like, because... And I tell people this all the time, and fools gotta understand. You can't... Speak just because she did not react the way she you wanted her to does not give you the right to be a jerk. And okay? to play like a victim, like you're being interrogation room. Yes, she has a right to ask these questions. Y'all about to get yeah. married in several weeks. This is how yeah. it's designed. Yeah, she has a right to ask these questions. Yes, yeah, we need to figure this out. Yeah, if we're gonna be together for life. Yeah, if that's the plan. We need to sit down, figure this out, have these questions so I can figure out a solution yeah. for both of us to move forward. Yeah, and she and she's doing it in a way where she's telling you how she feels. Okay, I mean, like, like you have the right to feel how you feel, and I have the right to feel how I feel. Where 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 understanding comes in is where okay i understand why you feel this way even even if i don't uh, uh, even even if i don't agree i still Facts. can understand or try to and even if you don't agree with how i feel you still can try to understand it she's actually trying to create this doc trying to create an open dialogue about it because as i said she was caught off guard she shocked and some women hey m m maybe she's not used to dating someone or getting married to someone that likes the same thing she likes and also you got to factor this in she is telling you how she processes stuff in her mind, yeah. which is something that if you are going to date this person, you're going to be married to this person for life. You need to understand how this person thinks. And if you and after first bat, if you're getting defensive and not paying attention to the bigger picture, like, oh, this she's telling me how she thinks. Let me listen first yeah. before I get defensive. You <laughs> run into problems like this. Like, I mean, bro, it's heating up right now. I mean, bro, like, how about your feelings, bro? Damn. About who he's been with or his past? Like, that's insane. She's not saying she would rather you lie to her. She's just saying she how you told her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, actually, oh, okay, yeah. She's saying how you told her is a problem. Which me personally, I don't believe how he told her was wrong because, as I said, I, certain things I'm not just gonna tell you right out yeah. the gate. Some things got to be like a third date conversation. But you also got to have the foresight to see that okay. I don't know how she's going to take it. Maybe she'll be accepting of it. Maybe she won't. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she the only problem she seems to have is just you didn't tell her fast enough. OK, fine. I mean, like, you know, I mean, like, you know, OK, fine. If you love her, you'll take that and say, hey, I'm sorry, blah, say, blah. But I'll you be get, more upfront and yeah, I'll tell you as soon yeah. as I as soon as I feel something, I'll tell you very upfront. Yeah, I mean, like, because y'all. I mean, it's not like that y'all have been dating or talking for years. Y'all still getting to know each other. Y'all just got engaged for like, what, weeks, days at a time? Like, it's it's y'all don't know each other yet that long. You know what I'm saying? Like so, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. It just makes more sense. Like, y'all have to figure out how to get to know each other, learn from each other, and move forward in that regard. This system, this right here, like, I get where she's coming from to a point. I get why he's acting the way he's reacting. The problem is because he's reacting that way and because he is dealing. The reason why he's acting this way is because he is so used to people taking off, running, judging him man, it, that man, he feels. No, nah, but it's true. Man, nigga, look. It's, 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 no, but it's true. Tell this him is why to, he's acting this defensive. Tell him to stop his bitching. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, be, I mean, like, because, bro, you are a grown ass man. Live your truth. Live your truth and fuck we, the world. We, we, we saying that, but we do not know. All we know is that he came out on a television show nah, to I a girl. I wouldn't have done all that. Nah, I 
ain't gonna lie to you. As I said, I believe in living my truth, that's but all, certain things ain't the world but business. But that's all we know. We they don't, don't need know, to know my love life. We don't, I, I get that. I understand that, and I agree with you. But we don't know what he went through before this show, what it was like when he was dating both men and women, Lord what traumas mercy. that he dealt with. Yeah, I'll dig deep there. We don't know. So he may be coming on with some very, very, very emotional baggage that... Yeah. Which is making him react like this because now he's been afraid. He's in fear. He's his vulnerability is now not just in front of her, but in front of everybody else. But you can tell that. I mean, like you saw how quick she uh, took that ring off. Like this is their first argument, and already About she is ready to with, call it quits. Past? You want to talk? Like love. that's insane. It's all a reality I mean, show. What you expect? That type of energy in my life. Have your moment. Well, nah, you, you can need go. It. You can go because well, you have well, it's issues. over. And I, see I have now. issues because yes, I'm you telling do. my you truth. You have some serious issues. So the fact nah, that you are gonna disrespect me, you're, typical. you're gonna disrespect me because how I feel. I'm Because you, you led me to believe that you really you because was into me. That, oh, I do. No, you don't. Because you're if you did, you would have been here and told me from the day one that. Diamond, I, I have am a bisexual. Message. I don't have to do disclose this, information that, that I'm not ready to. for for somebody. Like, I have disclosed information to people But you don't think that's misleading for other people? And being called all types of names. We're about to go names. here walk down the aisle. Nobody has ever had an me. issue with it except you. And oh, it was girls okay. who wasn't even like remotely close to who you are. Well, if you I'm were this Diamond person, Jack. Okay, I'm not good. Cool. These other I ain't fucking been talking with you like that. To. I don't I care if you're not fucking with me. I gave you your ring back. I don't give a fuck about a ring. Fuck a ring. Fuck a ring. This is why I don't deal with bitches like you. And the bomb drops. Alright, And the bomb drops. Oh, man. He had to call her out a name. But truth be told, listen, uh, you 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 don't ever call a person out their name, man. You don't you don't never call a person. Out I, their name. I mean, these days people just do whatever the hell they want to do. You don't never call. He he was wrong for that. I was. Actually, I agree that he's wrong. For I was that. on his side. I was up on. Until, what, uh, you was on his side up until this point. Uh, I, okay. I, I was. I was. Seven, I was, 60, was on the line. I was sixty percent on his side, forty percent on hers. But now I gotta go all the way to her side right now because, because as I said, I'm being consistent here. You can't tell someone when to live a truth. Now, as he as he said from his own experience, because we're all products of our own experience, awareness, and knowledge. Right. So. From his experience, awareness, and knowledge, there has been times when he's told people too soon. Okay, be, so so yes, he wanted her. He wanted to be. He wanted to feel comfortable and sure that he could tell her something like this. Okay, fine. It's not as I said. It's not like he told her the day of or the day before or right. after they got married. Okay, right. and it's not like they've been dating. For this insane period of time, they're still getting to know each other. So I mean, like you know, so you can't tell him when to live his truth. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, now he, excuse me. Now on the other hand, bro, you gotta be un- You also gotta be understanding that she may not, she may not have the experience of dealing with someone that likes the same thing she does. And you know, it would have been better if he taught her. What he was dealing with and what traumas happened. Yes. So that way she would have a better understanding. But for him to go from zero to one hundred to call her a of a bitch, yeah, bro, that's doing, yeah, bro, that's going too far. Yeah, that's, it's going that's, too that's, far. That's, like I mean, any, I mean, I could tell, bro, you acting real. <laughs> he acting feminine as hell right now because right, right now to you go, two in to, your feelings, right? Because you now you calling this woman out of her name. Yeah, you completely, you completely burn the bridge. Like the bridge is blown up at this point. Yeah, she gonna feel some type of way because now you're having. He already showed signs of like anger or frustration. Now you calling her out of her name? Yeah, bro. That's like true. it, like in a matter of seconds, because all she's doing is asking questions. She ain't get up in your face, and she ain't get up Good. and uh, yell at you about this. She ain't walk away from you. She had, she tried to have a conversation. Yeah. But I, but as, but as I said, I will say this. I also understand how she feels. Oh, but, I definitely get it. But, but I, I don't. I, even though she feels that he was. And he was misleading and all that. As I said, I don't think I personally don't think I uh, I understand why she feels that way. But I don't think that that's what he was trying to do. I I I, I understand her feelings, but I don't agree with them because I, I I I personally don't think that that's what he was trying to do. But she feels that way. And I mean, you know, and you can't tell someone how 
to feel, but she but she took this as a and even he said it. She took this as a e trail, and I just don't you know I don't agree. Yeah, I, when it comes that, to when it comes to the upfront stuff, you can be upfront, but there's a time and a place to be honest and upfront. But to be honest, do you see how fast this went bad? And this actually, and I'm probably wrong. Honestly, I know I'm not, but it it kind of it, it comes across that they were both trying to find a reason. Like once he told her this now because of how fast that she was quick to take the ring off and how fast he was quick to throw the ring. Like like this comes across that y'all was both looking for a reason to get out of this. I mean, like, as I said, like, like, I mean, like, cause I see, and this is where I kind of, this is where I kind of disagree. This is based off of reaction. She basically told him, I wanted you to tell me sooner. She's communicating how she thinks. Keep this in mind. Let me break this down. She is communicating to him how she thinks she is. I need to know up front the stuff you're dealing with because I can tell when you're upset and when you're not, she picks on, she picks up on his body language really well. They had a close date at before this point, before all hell broke loose, they had a close bond to the point she could pick up his body language. Now factor this in, like I said earlier, he's dealt with a lot of trauma and hurt revealing this to people. Right. So what would been big of him to do as a man and as somebody that has been in that type of lifestyle is to teach her that this is something that is sensitive to me, but I'm willing to work this out through my actions and how I say stuff. Well, I say this. But hold on. I got uh, yeah, to uh, add this point in there. Uh, uh. Now, where it's reactionary and why I went from zero to 100 real quick. He hasn't been healed of people walking out on him when he reveals these things. She doesn't like to feel betrayed. So it's a reactionary thing. Like I'm reacting to the fact that you're asking me all these questions because I'm already defensive as it is. And then it forces her to react. Well, you just called me, called me out my name. So now what is the point of me even being with you and you basically reacting no nah, but she was telling but she had took the, the ring off before he even said all that you feel me like you know like and this is why like i say it comes across as they was both just trying to find a reason because bro you getting all he's getting all defensive and he's pretty much saying f it and she done took the ring off and all that other stuff this is our first argument in our first argument we both just now is ready to c- call, call it, it quits. quits that's not love that that's you trying to find a reason to leave right uh, hold on you don't call me a bitch in my face i don't deal with women like you, you. fuck you fuck you fucker damn Nah, Ooh, she threw the drink in his face. <laughs> what kind of drink, what, what kind of drink right. was that? She drew the drink in his face. Watch you Play it back. Because it keeps sliding. They've been sliding since day one. You think I am. Your wig been you sliding since day one. Oh, jeez. Peace boy. out. Shut the fuck Peace up. Peace out. Here we go. Oh, you so fucking You mad because I'm telling the truth. I have clearly boy. realized that this boy. is not the woman for me. She has proven I mean, herself to be ignorant. She has proven herself to be stereotypical. I feel betrayed just as much as she feels betrayed. You it. So fuck her. I don't give Bruh, a fuck. This is my problem. You Why ignorant. do people never see themselves in the situation? Like he just forgot. Did Yo, you, you just called her a bitch on national television. You're ignorant. I mean, like, you know, and this is what I'm saying. This is people what I'm never saying. see themselves. And this is the problem, okay? He is upset because she did not react the way he wanted her to. But it's not like she reacted in a bad way. She just she opened up and communicated and said, I just don't like the way you did it. And and and, and I'm telling you, had he wanted her to be all open about it, be like, yeah, it doesn't matter. This I love you and all right. that. But nah, bro, sometimes sometimes certain things are an adjustment as i said not every woman not every woman is not every woman is comfortable dating a man that likes the same thing they do and that's dick 
it's not 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 every woman is comfortable with that. Let me also say this: Had he had said, oh, "Well, I'm sorry I made you feel that way, but I was just worried about these things, and I apologize for making you feel that way. Let's move forward." That's a better way to find a solution to conversation than to call her out their name, get defensive, and then now you single. Yeah, hold on. Don't don't see himself. By the way. Bloodshot Red saying that. This nigga. Oh, she crying. Yeah, it's a lot of emotions involved, man. Oh. She's. She, oh man, that's a sad thing. I was literally about to walk down the aisle with someone that clearly I didn't know. Uh huh. And tell him I, mm-hmm. right. I was hoping he could be a man about it and talk to me, but no real man would act like that. So it's a dumb deal with us. Yeah, I know. As expected. None of us are surprised. Damn it, man! Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I mean, you know. And you want to know something else is sad about this man? What? This man just chilled in a pool like it like it don't affect. Like he's he's like he's been so defensive for so long that he is not feeling any of this. Hashtag unbothered. Very. Is it? Uh, it's all right, mm. baby. That's crazy. He was wrong. I don't oh, think very you should well. I mean you know Yeah go ahead pause it So what are your last thoughts on this man I mean It all turned out uh, it, it It all turned out the, the way I thought it would I mean like you know Because in today's Society Especially with Especially dealing With someone telling you about their uh, Especially someone telling you about their Sexuality if you don't react how they want you to, like, all right, case in point, if you tell me, Corey, I'm gay, if I don't re- react with open arms, like, yo, Everett, it's fine, it's cool, it don't even matter, and all that, if I react any other way besides that, you go, I hate your guts. You are going to take offense to it. Right. You are going to take offense to it. Not and not going to understand that well, bro, you should have why didn't you tell me that years ago? Right. I mean, and it and it's not that it does and from people got to understand. It's just that I now I feel that I don't know you. It's 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 not about you being gay. It's about you keeping secrets. It's like, bro. Right. What else? You, what else are what else you? Do we not yeah, know? Yeah. What else do we not know? Right. You right. feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like you know, and she like she felt that like hold on like damn he didn't held back this like all right nigga like uh like what, what else, else you got? got? In the, what else? You know what other like, you know, skeleton like, you got in the closet? Whatever skeleton what you got in the closet. Now, but as I said, I'm being consistent. Certain things you can't tell someone when to live their truth. You know what I'm saying, like you know. Yeah, but you can't you can't demand for somebody to react a certain way either. But 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 our situation is different. I could see if they was dating for months or years, and he and he's just telling her that after they done got married, it's been years. Oh okay, okay now that's wrong. But mm-hmm. as I said, like you know, they're still getting to know each other. Certain things, yeah, I'm not gonna feel comfortable telling you straight out the gate. Right. <clears throat> But he ain't have to uh he ain't have to uh, call her a bitch. Yeah, that was that, that was very out of pocket. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Very like, out know, of pocket. It's like you lost the argument. Like you lost the argument right there, bro. Cause right. truth be told, you was just coming across at like acting like a bitch for real. No, I agree with that. That's that's yeah. Like you, like no nah, bro, you was acting like a whole bitch. Like, bro, like like the all that emotion and all that and I get it I get it I do but you can't act that way you was too in your feet yeah but you and I and I'm gonna just uh say this we're talking 
as men that was raised a certain way. And um, I also have to say that some of these people on that go on to these shows and other people in the world ain't raised how we were raised. You so right? when I see certain things, it's like, okay, you just wasn't raised that way to handle certain situations the way it's supposed to be handled. You know, and 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 I get he's probably been heard and he and she did call it, nigga, you got issues. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but don't but to call her ignorant and stereotypical, no, she's not. She's just this is a new situation for her probably. All right, this is probably the first time she ever had to dealt with this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And she didn't, and, and never did she say she had a problem with you dating both genders. She just said, I don't like how it came out. Okay, that's her preference. The same way it's your preference on how you chose to tell her. Now is where communication and understanding has to come in. Man, folks, man, y'all, this this generation killed me sometimes. So, so let's get into it. I know this is... um What? Let's let's get into this particular situation on a deeper. Let's just we might as we spend thirty minutes on this. We might as well make this a separate episode. Okay. Um, in terms of something that she was going back to, please do not do that. Put that dag on mic back man, on. The, hold on. <laughs> what you what you need to adjust, man? I'm trying to take it out. There we go. Okay, fine. That's better. All right. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Before if you're gonna do all that, let me adjust the camera because you're gonna sit back like that. Okay, as a matter of fact, fine. No, fine. Okay. okay, yeah. All right, well, okay. let me adjust the camera. You you, you don't have to do that. Oh, I don't? No, okay. it's fine. All right, cool. S- stay focused. All right. What you tell me stay focused for? <laughs> this is my show. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. There it is right there. There it is right there. The, 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 like, there it is. Uh, niggas always try to tell you what's this. Niggas always want to tell you what's this. Yes, yes, Everett. We know it's your show. Okay, all right. Uh, okay. Yes, it clearly, it's your show. Yes, yes, yes. When people. Hey, to everybody out there, this is Everett's show, okay? Yes, <laughs> the niggas always want to tell you what's theirs, okay? Damn, self self promotion at its worst. Lord have mercy. All right, nigga, yeah, please, hurry up. Damn, <laughs> folks always want to tell you. F- f- folks always want to tell you, like, bro, we know, we know. Please hurry up. Damn. Oh, oh, that was talking so about, funny. Talking about it's my show. Yes, <laughs> nigga. All right, yes. Who do? Uh, damn. Yes. Tell the whole world, Everett. This is Everett's show. Okay. Uh, like audio airstrike. That it's, day. Oh man, that was I, that was a good laugh. I need that laugh. Um. Ungrateful. Yeah, man. Ass. So <laughs> ungrateful ass people, man. Damn. Ungrateful. Man. <laughs> He's don't so, appreciate uh, nothing no more. So, so uh so uh when I sit back over to look at the situation, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I'm looking at this situation. I'll talk about it deeper. Hell, why not? Okay. Um You were talking about people's nowadays with alternative sexuality. Uh-huh. That uh-huh. force <laughs> What's the way I could word this? Okay, they force this or assume this way that you're this almost like a standard and procedure of how you're supposed to react. If I don't, oh, if if, if my immediate reaction is not with open arms, nine out of ten times, they're going to people that have a different sexual preference than you are going to react just like him. I, I I do agree. I think that th- I think that that is something. If there was one critique, one healthy critique that I would give that community, I'm like, y'all got to really work. Now on I ain't saying all of them going. I ain't saying everybody going saying, to act that. I ain't going. I ain't saying everybody so going to act so that me, way. So let me clean so, it up. So if it don't apply, let it fly. Right. I ain't saying everybody, but most most will, most will, because man, I ain't gonna man. Listen, if there's one group of people you don't want to mess with nowadays it is them you know what i'm saying like you know you know what i'm saying like you know folks have been saying the n-word for years but you but 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 but, but that's still fine say the f-bomb if you want to 
<laughs> say it. I dare you. I dare you say it. I, I definitely get that. You will babe. never work in this motherfucker again. <laughs> right. I get that. Say it. So I'm not, I'm not saying Are you out of your damn mind? I'm not saying say, that. You see how scared you are to say it? <laughs> You see, I'm not saying you want to say, but folks will be. You know what I'm saying like, you know, like, hey, bro, you do know that in certain schools now, you know what I mean, like, you know, you can get suspended for saying the f word, but you can still say nigga. Ain't it? Ain't you know what I'm saying like, you know, it, ain't, it don't. It don't surprise me, and I and I will say this, and and I do want, and in future in a future episode, I want to sit down and talk with somebody from that community because I got a lot of questions about how certain people in the community move that's one that's one of the things that i want to talk oh, about Oh Lord, have mercy. i do like i just want to have a healthy conversation i ain't bashing nobody like i want to have a healthy conversation with somebody from that community about certain things you trying to get blacklisted i'm not trying to get <laughs> like, blacklisted i'm, I'm, trying I'm joking, to, I'm, joking I'm, I'm joking i'm trying to have a healthy conversation that's progressive so because now what's happening mm-hmm. is is that you have back in the day if somebody even Glanced at a somebody of the same sex, it was right. like, "Oh no, this this man is gay." They use right. the f word. Yeah. They saying mm-hmm. this and that, yeah. and they just letting it fly. Like you know how we grew up, yeah. Of and course. You better not come out. We will joan on you. We will get you up out of here. That type of stuff. It's a totally different different scene now. And what I'm noticing is, is I'm seeing some of these people in that community. And while yes, um, you know, some of these people are fun to be around, nice people, some of the nice people you ever meet. There are others that will turn around and use the tactics of the people that oppress them and use it on other people. And I don't understand how that heals anything. It doesn't. If that makes sense. It doesn't heal anything. It doesn't. It does. It does not because human nature, we ultimately, a lot of us, we ultimately become the thing we hate the most. I mean, I mean, yeah, and, and I'm but, saying like you know, it's that. I mean, I mean, hey, bro, you you uh saw the Dark Knight, yeah. You no, know I'm I saying like you know, he, he said it. You no, know I'm saying like you know, you either die hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. In in the words of Jay Z, what did he say? Went from the greatest to the most hated. Arguably, I think Jay Z's beloved at some point. I mean, I know it wasn't always like that, but. Um, I think Jay Z's still beloved, but I, I definitely get your point overall. Yeah. My thing is, and when I sat back over and look at our Carlton's behavior on uh, Love Is Blind, and that's what we were reviewing earlier. Right. I'm sitting over there thinking to myself, I'm like, all right, like he's not the only one that acts this way. Yeah, that's like true. he's not the only one. There's a bunch of Carltons out there that act this way. Oh, have mercy. And yeah, it's true. You know, it's true. I it's, know it's, it's true. That's why I'm saying, Lord have mercy. Right. So when I sit over there and I look at um him, it's it's really it's one of these situations where this is still, even though that it's been let me see, when did um gay marriage come into effect and was legal? Twenty thirteen. So we are seven years in. Mm-hmm. Um This is still a learning process okay for a lot of people it is so you have to be mindful of that right like this is a learning process for everybody it is um because it still is and it's a tough topic because nobody is trying to be accused of being something that they're not well see me personally i think it's a what hold on you know what and I have a lot of gay friends. I got a lot of gay family members. What's so hard about the topic? Like, what are really the hard? What are re- like? Why? Why is this topic so hard for people to have? Because there are people. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Why is this topic so hard for people to talk about? I'm sorry. Right. Because there are people that sit over there and look at this situation and go, okay. If I say I don't understand, okay, they some people will interpret it as I hate your guts, and I do not, and I rather would not waste my time talking about it if I'm going to have my words twisted mm-hmm. to make me come off like I hate people from that community. You know what? And that's into me. That's a personal problem, like because because, and I'm speaking from but you experience understand. because I've had these conversations right. with gays. 
with you know trans with as i said you know what i'm saying i i'm a, you know what someone once told me Corey, you never met a stranger i haven't i'll sit and talk to anybody anybody and i have you know what and watching this it it almost had to remind me on how certain people are because i've been because in some of my conversations i've asked these same questions you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I've asked these same questions and she didn't ask anything disrespectful. She asked, I mean, like, you know, and she never came, a, she never came across like, oh, that's wrong or I hate you or started calling him out, out of his name. She Not ain't called him right. out, out of his name. Right. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, you know, like, like, like certain conversations, I think we tend to make certain conversations more, more complicated than what they really got to be because this conversation okay you know what i'm saying like you know at the end of the day you love who you love you like what you like you want what you want that's nobody's business except yours nobody's business except yours and and if a person can't accept you for who you are fuck them but that wasn't this situation this was just she just wanted she just she wanted clarity. She, clarity. She felt she felt betrayed because she she feels she he should have told her sooner. Fine, and she just felt that. I mean, and as I said, as I said, some women don't are do not want or are not used or comfortable with dating a man that likes the same thing they do. Dick. Right. And and she, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and she wanted clarity. That's why she asked, How do you know you want to be with a woman and not a man? Which is a fair question. Yeah, it's a fair question. No, I mean, like, I mean, that's a fair question. Like, do I have to worry about you going? I mean, do I have to worry up uh, like if you cheat on me, do I gotta worry about you cheating on me with a woman or a man? Because that potential could be greater and, because you have experience. Because he has experience with both. And when you tell me that you going out to hang with Craig and them, I mean, is y'all just hanging out or is y'all doing some extra? It's 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 not it's not unreasonable to have for her to have those thoughts, right. which which I'm sure she had those thoughts, but. She really wasn't dwelling on those thoughts. Probably she was just like, "Yo, bro, I don't know you." Like, like I feel like I put myself out there. I feel, and, and, and here's the thing: she, she probably told him way personal stuff, like he just did, and she probably felt in her mind, in her heart, she probably felt I'm telling him all this personal stuff. I'm putting myself out there. She probably felt at the same time I'm doing it. That's the same time you need to be doing it. Right. And she, what she basically was trying to do was communicate how she processes stuff and he took it wrong because like i said before man his mentality is different and honestly they weren't compatible obviously right. they went from zero to 100 the wedding ring was off and it was yeah. thrown in the pool mm -hmm. and everything like that calling her all types of bitches all right i mean it just it just went chaotic and the problem is is that we don't take time to really listen to we don't take time to understand how people think. We don't take time what? to sit over there and understand. I'm talking from a couple perspective. Oh Lord, have mercy. I'm talking strictly from a couple perspective. I'm I'm just talking strictly from that because we're this epi this particular episode is based on the altercation between Carlton and what was her name? Diamond. Diamond. All right. The so name of a stripper. Yeah, but she's a basketball dancer, that professional that basketball. That's the name of a stripper. I understand that. You, you uh, saw the Players Club. <laughs> <laughs> I sure did. But we ain't going to just gloss over right. it. Right. Um, how I feel about it is, man, is that when it comes to couples, okay. and this is something that couples need to pay attention to, okay. you cannot assume how a person is going to think or how a person is going to react. Not in this day and age. Not in this day and age at all. You have to learn and you have to adjust. It's about learning and adjusting. If you can't do them two things, especially in this day and age, you ain't going to last. Mm -hmm. This is a, look, this is like a never ending boxing match. Mm -hmm. Or this is like a never ending marathon. I'm not going to be as violent. Let me call it a marathon. Yeah, Your cardio is going to be tested. Your relationship is going to be tested. 
It, it's true. Look at this. I see it. Look at this. I see this bullshit. I mean, it's one of those situations, and I have sat back and I have sat back and watched relationship after relationship go through certain things. And the ones that have stood the test of time, the ones that have hung in there, are the ones that communicate everything. But, but, and, you, but you know that even though it's so simple, people make I'm not, communication I'm, so hard. I understand that. But I but it's one of them things where it's going there at times it's gonna be difficult conversations and stuff is gonna get very complicated. But you have to have you gotta be able to talk through it. Cause often what happens is what we just saw. Two folks that try to play the victim. Cause she feels that she's she feels that she is the victim because she feels that he lied and 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 misled her and all that other stuff. He feels that he is the victim because he feels that she's being stereotypical and ignorant and all that. So did that's actually where communication breaks down when folks don't don't try to humble themselves and just want to just take a moment and just like you know just say okay what part did i play in this because both because they both don't feel that they wrong so there's a lack of accountability there oh, of course self accountability ever when do niggas want to take responsibility never well real men do stop that when do niggas want want to take responsibility i'm i'm not going to call another brother a n word in in this year i'm going to call them I'm, I'm no, 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 no. There's a difference between black men and niggas. I, okay, I, I get where you're coming from with that. I just choose not to use that word. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm no, no, no. Uh, that's fine. But, but, as, but, but as I said, there, but, but as I said, most, most people ain't going They don't take responsibility. Right, I agree because when you see, here's the toughest part. Um, people don't. People will, people fear accountability more so than anything else. Um, they would rather have the bridge blow up and have everything be broken down, the foundation ripped apart and everything like that before they have to say, look, I'm wrong mm-hmm. because I did this. Mm-hmm. Um, the lack of humbleness, the lack of accountability is in my personal opinion, based on, I'm only talking about based on what I've seen and experienced. That's the number one to two reasons why a lot of relationships do not work is because of those things. There has to be someone to say, we know the situation happened. This is what caused it. This was my role in it. And because I played this role in it that led to the match being lit and starting the fire. I apologize. Now, can we figure out what your hand was in this, what the solution possibly can be so we can make, so we can move forward. All right. That's what the conversation should be. All right. But the problem is not everybody is willing to humble themselves and willing to say, I'm sorry because I did this. I should have never handled it that way. I won't even make it that deep by relationship. Friend, this is the problem in regular friendships too. This is the problem in a lot of business relationships. So when it comes to communicating to the other side and to the other person, you have to be willing to understand and also realize that the world doesn't revolve around you and that not everybody's going to think towards your ideology and not everybody is going to and why not? fall in line. And why not? What you mean, why not? It's my world. Everybody else is living in it. And that's a self-centered problem. Well, and you're going to have a lot of problems thinking that way. Well, no, that's their problem. You think <laughs> it's their problem. I'm just playing. No, you. I, I, I was going to keep on rolling with it. But it's one of those situations where I think people really got to sit down, humble themselves, and not think that way it's and hard. try to figure out. I, I get it. It's hard oh, because man. when you go I, through. Going back to what I'm saying, when do when do people take responsibility? In this era? Folks no. don't take responsibility. Folks don't take responsibility. Why, why, why would I? T- tell me, who are you to tell me I'm wrong? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, who who are you to tell me that all this wrong that I'm doing is wrong? Somebody, <laughs> I'll tell you exactly who I am. Somebody that never goes into a situation thinking that I'm right all the time. Somebody well, that will you. sit there and say, well, you asked me who do I you. think I am. I was that's like, yeah, me. Who is you to tell me that all this wrong I'm doing is wrong? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, don't tell me how to live my life. If you was to, to if people. if you was to ask me that, I say it to you, I said I'm one of your close friends and somebody that cares about you and somebody that has lived a, a lived long enough to know. But, but you ain't but you ain't walking my shoes. You can say it all you want to. At the end of the day, I'm right I'm close enough. Well, and that's how people are going that's how those people are going to respond to it. Who are you to tell me that I'm wrong? Who are you to tell me that, yeah, hey, bro, yeah, that but, but, is the pushback but, you get from those kind of people. And the second they hit rock bottom, guess who they calling? Us. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. second they hit rock bottom and fall in their face and I tried to tell you, hey, watch out for this because you're acting this way. Hey, she thinks like this. He thinks like this. You need to pay attention to this and rectify the situation. And the second it goes rock bottom and the second it goes out of pocket, and the second that everything hits on the floor, the second that the foundation is is broken up, guess who they calling? What? Us. The very people that were telling you, yo, bro, I know you don't want to hear it, but you got to look out for this. You got to watch this. You got to watch out for that. Yo, your relationship is on the line. You got to watch out for these things. So a- at a certain point, because you don't listen and because somebody decides to be hardheaded, I'm talking about re- friendships, relationships. Right. You know how I am. Uh-huh. When it comes to that, at some point I'd be like, "Look, man, I, I tried to give you a warning. I'm not gonna say I tr- I'm not gonna be that moron. I mean, not oh, not a moron, but I'm not gonna be a dick and be like, well, I told you so. I'm not gonna do that to you. Nah. I'm gonna just look at you and say, bro, you know what you gotta do. Uh, listen, bro, you get to a certain point. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna stop talking about it. Yeah, because especially if it happens over and over again. Oh, it it it, it only has to happen once with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 real I, talk. It's it real only, talk. It only got to happen once because honestly, I'm older now. I don't have the patience to deal with that right. bullshit. So it, it really only. Got yeah, me and Corey once. about to be thirty this year. Yeah, so we don't. We happen. we ain't got time for this. Hot damn, nigga! What you doing? What? Come on, nigga! What the fuck are you doing? What you eating? Don't 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 do that. Do what? Like. They don't need to know that. Okay. How how old I am, nigga? Tell your age. Don't tell my age. <laughs> see, 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 see. This is this is the stuff that I'm talking about. Like, don't volunteer information that's not yours. <laughs> don't Jeez. like. Don't do that. Okay. This is where. This is where. This, I will. I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys how to resolve the situation. Hey, Corey. What? My bad. I apologize. No, fuck that. I, <laughs> No, no, See what no. I try to do? No, I try to humble that. myself. I damn try to be that. transparent, and I try to make the try to realize the error of my he ways. He knew he was wrong. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't apologize. At, at, okay, wait. You know what? And this is just the type of person I am. Okay, the only time you can apologize to me is if you really did not know what you what you did was wrong. But it, but if you knowingly said, if you knowingly said the. The wrong thing, nigga. Don't apologize to me. Hold that. I thought it would no, be. Hold that. I thought we'd be no, trans- hold that, Everett. I thought I thought we'd be a transparent, yeah, and I, I was just that's what I was. We're both. My ass. No. We're both at a certain point where we're getting older. Don't volunteer information that's not yours. That's how folks get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell your age. Don't tell my age. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. <laughs> See, this is you know what? It, it's at times like this where folks get mad because niggas like him that they, they can't do right. I don't have no problem saying, "Hey, man, look, my bad." Huh? I don't have a problem saying, "Look, hey, man, my bad." Well, you, 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 okay, okay. Here's, I was about to, I was about no, to okay. apologize to you, but you just wouldn't allow me to I be. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Because certain things Okay Someone told me this You wouldn't have to apologize If you stopped fucking up (laughs) (laughs) Shit As a matter of fact Okay I didn't Uh, know See you acting like Carl right now Just going Just assuming No I There's a difference You you did something wrong (laughs) 
<laughs> Don't just volunteer information that's not yours. <laughs> tell your age. Don't tell mine. You acting bad sensitive right now about your age. You acting huh? you, you acting bad sensitive about I your am. age. I'm going through a, I'm going through a midlife crisis. All right now. Shit. You, you going to start breaking down now? I feel old. All right. Well. Fuck. In that case, this has been another edition of Audio Air Strike. Mm-hmm. I'm Everett Hall McNeil. This is Corey Smith. That's I will not, not say volunteer information. That, that's not yours. Stop it. How many episodes have I used your name? All right, then. Let, let me say my name. See, this is the shit. I'm, <laughs> but wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, though. Going back to something he said at the beginning. This is his show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. His show. Okay. As a matter of fact, ever sure. And, 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 close us out, ever. Close us out, ever. Why? Because it's your show. That I mean, like you know, your show where that you can just volunteer all the information that, that, that you want. You you informed us that it's your show. You you informed us that you you informed us of how old we are. Okay, you 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 told everybody, and on top of that, you told everybody. All I everybody, said, well, uh huh. All I said uh-huh, was, yeah, uh-huh. myself, which was wrong. Fact, yes, because you catch your feelings. Y- yes, blatantly all wrong. I said, all I said, was, overly wrong. I'm, all I said was categorically wrong. <laughs> but hey, you want to know something? It's your show. <laughs> Close us out. As matter of fact, as matter of fact, hell no. As matter of fact, hell no. As matter of fact, hell no. This is audio airstrike. I'm Corey Smith closing out because this nigga's. <laughs> Bye. Y'all take care, man. Have a good one.